Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Windows 10 Pro virtual machine inside of VMware Workstation 12. And I'm doing this because I'm teaching a View Site Edition course, and View Site Edition requires, uh, you know, Windows 10 Pro, and therefore um, I need to create a new VM for it. So I figured, well, let me share with the audience how I went about doing that. Um, now, there are other virtualization software packages out there besides uh, VMware. There's um, VirtualBox and some others that are actually free. But I've been using VMware for so long, and it's not really that expensive at about $150, $200 that uh, you know, I've just been using. And this is not the latest version. I think they're up to 14 now, but version 12 works, and that's what I'm using. So with that said, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over to... Uh, create a new virtual machine. We're going to click on that and we're going to step through this wizard and we'll stop by doing typical and then choose the next. Now I've already put my Windows 10 Pro installation disk in my DVD drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and click next and it says it wasn't able to find what operating system it was. So I'm going to tell it it's Windows and in the list here I'm going to select Windows 10 64 and click on next. And here I'm going to give it a shorter name. I use a particular naming uh, convention for all my templates and then I'll find some place on my hard drive to store it and now I'll click on next I usually leave the default hard drive space I usually only install one application per VM so we'll do that and click on next and now we're ready to finish and after I click on finish I need to start the VM so I can start installing the software so let me go ahead and do that And now the process is starting. Now you'll see at the bottom of the screen, it says, hey, click here when you're done installing your operating system. So we'll do that when we're all done. And uh, it took Windows about, I think, 17, 18 minutes to install. So I'll go ahead and speed up the video here so it takes like 10 seconds. But in any case, once you go through your normal Windows 10 installation, um, you're going to want to do some configuration of your software first. So I always recommend don't activate Windows just yet. Go through and customize the Windows operating system. You know, we can't actually do anything with the taskbar until we activate Windows. But what we can do is we can pin applications to the start menu. We can pin applications to the taskbar. We can move icons around on our desktop. We can go in and change the Windows update settings. You know, Windows is always trying to update. It's trying to upload and download all the time. I want to try to nix as much as that as possible. I want to slow Windows down and tell it, hey, don't go crazy with updates because guess what? This is a virtual machine. I'm going to use it for View Studio. I don't need you updating all the time. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not on social media. I'm not using uh, Microsoft products. I'm just using View Studio. So I'll tweak these as much as I can. Another thing I like to do is install all the currently available updates. So before I uh, complete this VM, I have every last bit of Windows 10 updated. So after I go through all that, and of course I'm going to speed that up too because that takes a while, um, I'm ready to activate the software. But what I like to do, I like to make a snapshot first. And I showed you how to make snapshots a couple of years ago in the older videos. But um, I like to make a snapshot before I activate it because if I just buy another license, right? I don't have to go through this again. I'll just take that unactivated Windows 10, give it the license number, and bam, I'll be done. So I'll do a snapshot here before I activate it, then I'll go ahead and activate Windows, and then I'll take another snapshot after I activate Windows. So that if anything changes in the future and Windows is saying, oh, you're not activated, I can always fall back to that clean state. As a matter of fact, after I activate Windows, I'm gonna clone this VMware image a few times, once for use with View Studio, and then I'll have a couple of backups to use with other programs in the future. So, um, but I will never actually install anything on the original template because I want to save that so I can duplicate it in the future as many times as I want. And that's it. That's how easy it is to use VMware Workstation 12 Pro uh, to create a um, Windows 10 Pro image that you can use with View Studio Enterprise Edition or other products you may want to use it with. And with that, that's the end of this video. Now, if you found that helpful, consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com forward slash automation. You can pledge just a dollar a month, and in return, I'll give you $3 worth of free downloads every single month. And you'll be helping me make more videos and make more blogs every day. 
And with that said, if you know anybody who needs to learn how to use Vue Studio, have them go over to theautomationschool.com and check out my course. By the time you view this, it will already be published and you'll already be able to buy it. So please uh, tell anybody you know who needs to learn that software to check out my course. It's much more affordable than spending a week out at Rockwell. Uh, and with that, I want to thank you for watching this video. And until next time, peace.